Yo, what's up guys and gals, JBlockSec here, where today we are going to be doing some serious Blender modeling. Um, we're going to be creating a Star Trek uh, corridor from like Star Trek Beyond, Next Gen, uh, not Next Generation, goodness me, how disrespectful of me. Um, we, we're going to be doing this from specifically Beyond the 2009 reboot and Into Darkness. So first thing that we're going to get is hit shift A and bring a, bring me a Taurus and when I say I want a Taurus I mean I want a smooth Taurus like this I will let you guys do this first then yeah the Taurus looks good I think this is good enough for a Taurus I was thinking of bringing the inside a little bit more in but no it's fine you know what, I changed my mind. We're not going to use a torus, we're going to use a cylinder. Hit shift A, bring in a cylinder into this life. We're going to go immediately hit 1, go to object mode by hitting tab, click vertices, get rid of these bottom vertices. Not at all important. Not important. So then, probably should have brought this down. Hit 1, G... Seven. Just bring it down. Perfect. Then hit object convert curve from mesh slash text. It is now a curve. Now here we are gonna go. We're gonna stay here in object mode. We're gonna click here on the curve object data properties. Click 3D and click the fill mode. Make sure it is on full. Alright, now that you have done that, click geometry, you see this bevel button. We're going to change the depth to about 0 0.034. Let me see here, hit period to zoom in a little bit closer. Let me see, yeah, not bad, not bad. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And, but the resolution's too low. Maybe bring the resolution up to like 12 looking much better here maybe shade smooth or not and bring up the res resolutions 12 that's fine yeah that that will work I'll let you do that Now that you have done that, you, if you wanted to do more, you could duplicate this, hit Shift D, drop it there, and then use the offset to like make more areas, things like that. But that's not what we're doing. We're not doing that. Yeah, no, we ain't doing that. So yeah. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Jacob from the future editing Jacob and uh, he would like to apologize he hadn't made a mistake uh, past Jacob has made a mistake the, res the render resolution was not high enough on the uh, cylinder so we're gonna redo this okay we have to change the resolution crap Okay, so hit shift A, add the cylinder back, change the resolution to 256, so it's super smooth. Jacob made a pass, Jacob made a big whoops, and future Jacob is here to fix it. So, do all the things you did earlier. Yeah. Right, I'm going to assume you guys... Don't feel like rewinding, so I'm just gonna do it for you, but with no commentary.
There we go. Much better. This is what I was going for. This is what was necessary. Not that weird, weird looking thing. This is what we wanted. But anyway, back to the video. I'm just saying. Past Jacob didn't know this, but didn't feel like recording this. So future Jacob had to. So past Jacob fixed it. Just telling you. Alright, time to continue. I had to fix a few things. But yeah, time to continue. So next thing you do... Let me get out of the wireframe. Next thing you do is convert it back to a mesh. By first selecting it, going to Object, Convert to, and Convert Back to Mesh. Then we're going to add a Solidify modifier and choose the thickness of 0 0.005. Not too thick, but just thick enough. Like if I wanted to actually go inside of it, which apparently is going to be extremely difficult. You gotta be joking me. It can't be this hard. Just let me get in. Whatever. I'll do it later. Yeah. But add that solidify modifier. Okay, so next, the next thing we're going to do is add a cube. Let's add Senor Cube. Uh, hit here. I want to be able to see the this guy. Or actually, no, this works. So, scale Z. Z probably into right about there because we want the curve walls we're gonna cut actually the curve walls out and then just scale them out enough and then scale Z again and I think that works let me see here Oh, yeah, that baby, that works, def definitely works. Perfect! I think it's a little bit too big over here, but whatever. What am I doing? Oh, switch back there. Anyway, continue. I'll let you guys do that. Alright, everybody. Now is for the serious part. Now, Boolean, we're gonna do a, we're gonna use a Boolean modifier. Boolean modifiers absolutely hate me. But hopefully this will work. So we're going to click on the ring. Go to the modifiers tab. We can apply the freaking. We have to apply the solidify modifier. But now we got to click boolean. Then intersect. And then choose the cube. Did it work? Oh yes it did. Oh yes baby it did. For the first time ever. Also up here, cl click here. Choose these. Make sure the cube. The cube can be gone forever. No one needs it. It's gone. I want it out. Because I want it in the viewport. And I definitely don't want it in my render. So turn all that off. But don't delete it. Because if you delete it, it, the Boolean modifier doesn't do anything. It just reverts back. Not cutting out top and the bottom. So don't do anything with that baby, baby cube. I'll let you guys do that next. Alright, hopefully you've done that. Um, gosh dang, I keep accidentally clicking out because my freaking mouse likes to ex to mistakenly double click. What in the world? Alright, so. Let's uh, zoom in over here. Uh, zoom in over here. I'm going to switch to orthographic view. And nope, back to pro. Perspective view. Ah, God dang it. 
Oh, that's because I didn't apply it. Apply. Okay, now you can turn on... No, no, you can't. You don't want that to render. But now I know what I'm doing. No, I never really did, but whatever. Now, um, it's Z. Let's fix this. I don't know, choose a corridor area. Gosh dang it, Z. Probably a frickin' frack. Frickin' frack. It. Control. Or not. Alt R. Alt. Why, oh, why, why did I hit Alt R? Alt click. Shift, Alt, click. Shift, Alt, click. Shift, Alt, click. And then on the inside, too. Shift, Alt, click. Shift, Alt, click. Shift, Alt, click. Shift, Alt, click. And again on this one side. Shift, Alt, click. Or not. Shift Alt click. Shift Alt click. Shift Alt click. And Shift Alt click. Turn around. And more shifting, alting, and clicking. Click, click, click. Boom! Now hit F3. Hit separate. Sorry. Separate. Hoya. Selection. Choose them once you get out of here. Woo! Hee hee hee! I cut it out. I really messed that up. Okay, it's gone. Hit G and X and just bring it over here because nobody likes that giant thing. So next thing we're going to do is I'm gonna get close to this. Thank you. Um, I am next going to add the floor and the ceiling, obviously. What happened if I scaled it Y? No, I meant I, said, I hit scale Y. Okay, well that's not what, not at all helpful, but whatever. Scale. Oh, I know why, because it's freaking origins right there. Okay, how to fix this? You don't. You just don't. Okay, I'm going to shift S and put cursor to select it and not move it. Anyway, that's it. That. Then grab the vertices of down here. Grab all these vertexes, or well, they're vertices. And then hit F, and boom, we got our curvy dervy floor. Then next is the selling. So, boom, boom, boom. Actually, we probably should just go boom, 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 boom. And boom, 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 boom. Hit F, and we got more curvy dervy dudes. Alright, what we're gonna do next is, gosh dang it, I keep, like, every time I move this, it just doesn't work with me. It doesn't like me, but so, see these guys, what in the world, why are we, like, getting that close into their face? Alright, don't want to get in their faces and edges and vertices, mind your own vertices, man. Yes, my jokes involve 3D modeling puns. Go, I guess here. Hit G, Z, and hold down Control, and boom, we got, we got them. Then hit F, and your problem solved. It's you got a little underfloor thing just in case. Not everyone will notice this. But here's it, an orthographic view. Oh, it's because the stupid ring's in the way. I want to, like, hide the ring. 
for a minute. But yeah. The next, if I go back into perspective view, should be click. I'd be clicking. They be hating. Stop it. Don't judge me. I'm bored. I had my first day of school today, so I'm pretty bored. Anyway, select these vertices. Now! Then, hit three. Hit G, Z, hit control. And then hit F. And we've done it once again. Oh, crap. No, we have not. Gosh, every time. Let me do this quickly. Okay, now I have fixed that. Took me a minute. But I accidentally had too many things selected. But anyway, on to the next thing. I'll let you guys just give you a little bit more time to do that. Alright, so the next thing we shall do is select the inner areas. Which are these all? So let's get face select. It's a lot of fun selecting these, isn't it? And then same of same for the other side. Ah. Now I've missed the top. But then we extrude. Nope. This still saying extrude via normals. No, it's not allowed. Extrude region. So if I start extrude, no. Okay. Extrude individuals. It's not. It's not what I wanted, but okay. That's what I was wanting. This. It's exactly what I wanted. Some weird looking thing. Oh crap! I don't need to extrude. Big brain, Jacob. Big brain. Hit G. No, yep, you need to extrude. So we're gonna extrude in, no, in bit. Bound there. I think that's good for extruding them in. Yeah, I'll let you guys choose on the way you want to do it. Okay, so next. Gosh dang it, I gotta be in stupid mode here, switch to edge, 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 uh, we're gonna bevel these edges, make them look nice, so yeah, let's, uh, bevel, is it B? Beevil. Oh dang. Okay. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. That was somehow exactly what I was looking for. Okay, yeah, that's what I was wanting. For beveled. I'll let you guys do that. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is not that difficult. Just gotta hit 5, go back to orthographic view. And for each one, we are separately going to do this. Gonna hit I. Bring it down a bit. Uh, this is going to be my own personal design, but... You do what you want to do. Why, you stupid blender? Alright. So, get around right here. 
and then I could extrude it, but I will do that in a minute after insetting. Hold on, I wanna see inset to maybe right there. Uh, thickness. I want to take. Uh, I'm gonna write that down. That thickness. A sticky note thickness of 0 0.00092 meters. Or, yeah, meters. And then we're going to do this for each and every one of them. So, inset 0. Zero, zero, nine, two, and see they're the same size. It's exactly what I'm looking for. So if I hit inset and then I can type it out and then be like zero point zero 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 nine two on every one of these, and that will take some time. So I'm just gonna cut to that because this video is running longer than I wanted to already. So yeah, let's just do that. Alright, I'm done with one wall. It took me a lot longer than I wished. But, what are you gonna do? So, um, yeah. Next we're gonna do, I guess, is extrude it. So let's go back here. We're gonna select all damn faces. Yeah. Once done, hit E to extrude, extrude it out, but not like too far. I moved it on the normal orientation. Probably should check to see if it looks decent. Looks pretty decent. Yeah, maybe, 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 no, no, I don't feel that one. You gotta be kidding me, I didn't click off of that. There we go, that's better. Alright, so Z, okay, gotta grab my, grab out your pencil, or screenshot, whatever you wanna do. You're gonna do the same thing for this, the other side, but it will be 0 0.002042 meters, because since it's on the other side, it's not negative; it is positive. I need you guys to remember that. Anyway, I'm gonna go put those thingies on the other side too. I do have to say that there probably is a faster way to do this. But, I don't know what it is. So, let's just keep going. Alright, I finally did it! On to the next thing. Alright. Drop that guy down. Now spam all of them. Boom! Now hit extrude. And extrude. Not in the negatives. Because if it's negative, you know you're gonna die. So, grab out that post it note. Very sorry, I was interrupted. But, um, just type in zero. Point zero. Or, crap, I'm not in Blender anymore. Type in zero point zero zero two zero four two. Whoops, probably should have clicked the negatives then. And boom. That's exactly what we wanted. We got what we wanted. 
And then, like, if you want to do more detailed things, I guess you could put, like, a lamp or, a, like, a small light there. Do stuff like that. But, um, I'm gonna pause and I'll be back in a few minutes. But for you guys, it'll be like that. I am apparently getting dinner. So, yeah. First thing, gotta save it out. Save it to wherever you're gonna save this dang thing. I'm gonna save it to my file, because I'm actually using this in my movie. So, yeah. Go to models, wherever you want to save it. And boom. And create a new file and custom. And I always like to keep things organized so Blender saves. And then always have a separate file for renders. And then image sequences if you use them. But for now, I'm just gonna leave this untitled, save it, and then boom. Anyway, I will be back. Alright, I am back. But uh, so... <clears throat> Let's go back into orthographic, yeah. Well, I want to test something. So, if I hit shift D and hit R and so shift D R. Hold control. Ooh, issue. Look at that issue. That's a big issue. That's a big boy's issue we got there. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. If I if I put it through look dev, it does not look bad. Actually, it looks pretty good. If I rendered it, it looks fine. That's That, that's, that might work. Hmm, interesting. That's very interesting. Oh my gosh, my nose! But if I got rid of that and added an array modifier. Oh crap. Never mind. And then. That's not it. Get closer. Shift D. R. Hit control. Boom. Shift D. R. Hit control. Boom. And just continue to do this till you got the complete cylinder here. Which I could technically delete this, right? Yeah, I could just delete that. And then boom. Done. But yeah, this tutorial is gone on long enough. This is really all you need to know. I will do a second tutorial on texturing if you guys really want it. I don't think you need it, but if you want it, I'll give it to you. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.